Chris the Gunner here with Malachi Prime Media. This is where the Halloween fun starts to continue as we headed up here north, where the North and South Carolina border meet, the Scarowins. We're here for our special media opportunity to give you what's inside the park before it opens to the public. All right, so let's see what else they got. Lots of fun, and Steve, who's gonna give you a tour, is um, a cartoon character in the most, most appropriate way. Any of you know much about the history of Boo Blasters on Boo Hill? You might know that it's, a, it's an original park building. Yes, it's an original park building if you didn't know that. It goes all the way back to 1973. It used to be called Harmony Hall. There was actually a song and dance show in here. Yes. So in the Carowinds fashion, you know, we find we like alliteration. We like keeping our history. So we now have another location at Harmony Hall. It feeds a lot of people and they still have shows in there. So um, that's always a fun thing to know about the place. Um, we're going to go inside. Give you a tour. We're going to walk around the whole ride. So we're taking a special tour here at the Boo Blasters as we enter into this part of Sierra Winds right beside the new aeronautical landing. Pretty cool so far. Um, giving us a personal walk. Pretty interesting given the history and the depth. some skeletons over here playing checkers. I guess they get down like that. And as far as I know, this is the first time I've ever done a tour for anybody in this building. Wow. This is the first time. Center after visiting the Boo Blasters. It was an interesting uh, little tour. A uh, ride that hasn't not yet opened yet, and it used to be a Scooby Doo. Interesting since uh, Scooby Doo is owned by Universal these days, Universal Studios. Pretty cool though. I'm um, pretty excited. So we're sitting in the VIP area on standby. Um, they're getting ready to feed us over at Harmony Hall, but they wanted us to check it out. It's pretty nifty. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's like $30, and you get to come here all day long during a hot park day. They got food and beverages and TVs here for everybody to see. So probably worth, uh, We next time we come, we plan on utilizing this experience just because it seems that it would pay off all day. I probably recommend you do the same. So now we're going into our first maze, Paranormal Inc. As we exit Paranormal Inc, 
it was a pretty good house. I like how the intensity started off. The only recommendation I have is try to find a way to make it a little bit longer. But other than that, that was pretty fantastic. I cannot complain. Are you trying to capture me in your magic box set? <laughs> Piss off your house. There's a bumblebee. Careful, there's a bumblebee. It's gonna get you. Oh no! So we just had an awesome scare zone, walk right out of it. Uh, lady chased Ray right through it. It was hilarious. But makeup's on point. Scare actors are doing their thing and uh, looks like they're making it a pretty good event. Well, as we keep continuing this Halloween fun run, can you do us one favor? Subscribe to the channel if you like seeing all this Halloween stuff coming down your way. Like the content because you know you enjoy it. You wouldn't be watching it otherwise. Go ahead and the bell notification button. That way you know when a new video is ready for you to view. Now we're headed to Harmony Hall for a complimentary dinner. Can't beat free food, so thanks a lot, Carowinds. Gave us some free drinks, which is amazing. And then look behind us here, they got some really cool stuff, some swag out here, and they put it on display. Well, those of us that are out here today are able to give you the picture of what's going to be out there for you. All right, check it out. So we're just exiting the Tooth Fairy. That was a pretty good house. It had some pretty good gore in it. Uh, very hard to navigate, therefore the scare actors were easy to find their prey. Uh, I had a woman screaming on my back the entire time that, that amplifies how good it really was. So, good job, Carowinds.
to me? I'm solving! All right, the next house we're getting ready to go into is Silver Screen Studios Condemned. All right, well, that one uh, was really well put together. I like the artistic value that was incorporated with that haunted house. Uh, I think there could have been a better, a lot more jump scares. This was only a sneak peek. If you really want to get the full experience of scare winds here at the South Carolina, North Carolina border, come on down and get it yourself. to invite in here is Scarewinds. It had a great time, had great food, had great scare zones. Uh, definitely better than I expected going on our Halloween fun run. So I would definitely encourage anyone that has the opportunity, come to Carowinds, try out Scarewinds. Have a scary time at Scarewinds.